In this video, I will show you how to install Eclipse and how to create your first Java application. So first of all, let's download it. Now we need to go to this first link. And here we need to click on this download button. So now let's scroll down and here we can see that Eclipse already includes the Java GDK, which means that you don't need to install the GDK to be able to use Eclipse. Also, the easiest way to install Eclipse is using the zip file. So let's click on this download link. Now here let's scroll down and let's download Eclipse for Java developers. So let's click on this link which allows us to download it for Windows. And now let's click on this download button. Now we need to save this zip file on the computer, but in my case I have already downloaded it, so I will cancel this download and I will use the zip file that I have already downloaded, which is this one. So now I need to extract it. And I will extract it to the folder of the user of this computer, so I will remove all of this from the path. Now let's go to the folder where Eclipse has been extracted. So it has been extracted on the folder of the user of this computer into a folder called Eclipse. So this is it. And the executable file that allows us to start Eclipse is this one. So let's make a shortcut of it on the desktop. Now we can close this folder and we can use this shortcut to start Eclipse. So let's start it. So in this window it is asked where I want to create my Java projects. So I can accept this path or I can modify it. In my case I will accept it and I will check this box so this window will not appear again. Now let's click on launch. Now let's close this welcome page and let's create a new project. So let's go to file, then new, then Java project. So in this window, I have just to provide the project name, so I will call it first Java project. Then let's click on finish. So here I will create a simple Java project and I don't need this module, so let's click on don't create. Now the project has been created, but it is empty for the moment, so let's add a new Java class. To do this, we have to click on file, then new, then class. So in this window, I will provide the class name and I will call it main class. Also, I want to add the main method into this class, so I will check this box and I will click on finish. Now the class has been created, so I will print some text to the user. Now let's save this file and to run it I can make a right click, then run as, then Java application. And as you can see, this is the output. Now to create a new class into this project, I have to go to file, then new, then class, and this time I want to create a new frame. So I will call this class main frame. Now let's click on finish. And let's complete this class. So first of all, let's add extends GFrame. But here we have an error because the class GFrame has not been imported. So to import it, we can use the help of Eclipse and let's click on this icon. And now let's click on this option, import GFrame. Now the import has been added and the error disappeared. Now let's add a method into this class. So this method allows us to set the title of the frame, to set the size. When we click on the close button, the application will be stopped. And finally, we will make this frame visible. But here we have an error because we did not import this class. So to fix this, we can click on this icon. Then we can click on import the class. Now the import has been added and the error disappeared. Now let's save this class 
and here I cannot run it because it does not contain the main method. So to be able to execute this class, we can either add the main method into this class or we can go to the main class which contains the main method and we can use the main frame that we have created here. So let's go to main class and here let's create an object of type main frame. Now let's call the init method of this object. Now let's save this file and let's run it. And here we obtain this window. So if I click on this close button, the application will be stopped. In the next video, I will show you how to install Window Builder with Eclipse to be able to create user interfaces using drag and drop. Finally, thank you for watching and please subscribe to the channel.